Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good wherever you are. This is again Dr. Mizan of Dr. Mizan Coaching, and today we have an update for you on Cobenfi. So it is currently March 28, 2025, um, and we've received so much traction on our first Cobenfi video, which was fantastic. Like, you know, I, I, I'm not a pharmaceutical doctor at all. Like, I, I just learned about Cobenfi, and I learned that, look, like, this is a brand new this is a brand new antipsychotic that uses a totally different mechanism of action than previous antipsychotics. It has a, a far smaller, a way smaller side effect profile. And so I just figured like, look, there's nothing on YouTube about this. I, I'm a licensed family medicine doctor. I should talk about it. Um, and I think right now it's sitting at like over 5,000 views, which is fantastic for this tiny little channel that I started as more of like a way to teach people the intricacies of medicine and, and the healthcare world. Um, so thank you everyone who watched it. And without further ado, we have just an update for you. So it's a very, it, it won't be, be that long of a video, uh, but just to answer a lot of questions that we've received in that initial video, which you can watch below, or I'll probably link it up there. Um, so Cobenfi now, ever since I made that video, it was FDA approved in September, 2024. As of today, it is literally available all across the United States. So, you know, if you are interested in, if you, if you or a loved one suffers from schizophrenia or some other type of psychotic disorder, um, you know, you could ask your physicians about this drug. So Cobenfi, again, is, um, it, it, it goes under the name CAR-XT, um, and it's basically a combination of xanomaline and trospium chloride. Um, and it's basically the very first antipsychotic that doesn't target dopamine receptors. So um, instead, it targets um, musc the muscarinic acetylcholine system. And like this is important because, you know, the dopaminergic system is extremely sensitive and it's highly interconnected with a lot of different systems in your body. And so this is why traditionally other antipsychotics like, you know, all the dones, so like risperidone, um, like these drugs have had a huge list of side effects. Um, so, you know, and, and a lot of people that I've spoken with on that first video, they told me that like, hey, like, you know, my younger brother or my father or whatever, it has schizophrenia and these drugs just, they turn the disease into a different disease, right? So it's like, you know, it might remove the hallucinations, but it causes my father to become completely lethargic and like, you know, he can't get out of bed. Um, so, you know, I don't get any kickbacks or anything from, from these videos or, or these drugs or anything, but it's just when I read about Cobenfi, I was like, look, this is amazing. Like, you know, if, 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 you know, if, if you're, if you're part of the marketing team or whatever, call me, let's work together. But, um, yeah. So anyway, so like today we're going to, so number one, to answer the questions that a lot of my, um, a lot of my like non-US, uh, viewers have been asking me. So unfortunately, it looks like it's only in the U.S. Like it only received FDA approving to be manufactured as well as distributed um, in the United States of America. And I looked up India. I looked up what else. Like there were a lot of commenters. So thank you again, guys. Like, like you know, there was a commenter from Spain. There was a commenter from Mexico. Um, there's nothing. Like there's literally no news about Cobenfi being exported to other countries. So that was really disheartening to me because it's like, you know, it, it was over like six months ago, right? So, uh, or it really was six months ago. But usually the, the pharmaceutical pipeline takes about a year um, in order for, and, and the reason why, and this is like a secret that only, you know, doctors and pharmaceutical scientists know is that the year when a drug is finally released out to the public, it's still being tested right so it's like the test now is like in the real world so it's like you know we're we're giving you know doctors have the ability to prescribe this new medication um let's see how it goes like let's see what happens with the patients that get them um you know a lot of physicians like you know if if there's like adverse effects that are extreme like we're we actually are obligated to report them um and so that's sort of like the final step of the reviewal Oh, 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 that's sort of like the final step of like the reviewing process for how drugs are, uh, how drugs become more mainstream. 
Um, and, you know, there have been some drugs even recently where this entire process was not taken appropriately, you know. So, uh, so watch my other videos. It begins with an O. Um, and there's a lot of those drugs that just didn't go through the, this immense testing that's required to ensure safety in, in medications. Um, but anyway, um, here, I forgot to turn this on. Sorry about that. Uh, I'm not going to re-record. You know, it's fine. Um, but anyway, so, so let's go through this article because this was, this is brilliant. So that's the first part of this video. So you can, if you don't want to watch the rest, totally fine. Thank you. Like, and subscribe, share this channel if you would like. Um, so to all my international viewers, yes, unfortunately there's no news at all about Kobenfi going to India, Bangladesh, Pakistan, um, Lithuania, Portugal. There's apps. I, I, I looked today and I couldn't find anything. So, uh, but if there is an update to exporting of Kobenfi, then I'll make another video on that. Um, but today we're, you know, like now that it's been out for a few months, like there have actually been, like there have been some research studies that actually show that not only is it very effective at mitigating or like, you know, decreasing the, um, the deleterious or like the, the bad effects of schizophrenia, but it also may reduce cognitive symptoms in patients who experience them. Um, so this, and I'm going to, I'll link this in the video below, but this is from the B, BBR or Brain and Behavior Research Foundation. Um, and it was posted two months ago on January 16, 2025. Um, the author is William, William P. Horan, PhD. Uh, he's a research psychologist at my alma mater, uh, UCLA or University of California, Los Angeles. I uh, never met the guy, so he's probably new because I used to work, you know, a lot of you know me by now, like I used to work at the... Um, the laboratory of neuroimaging. My my bachelor was in my BS was in neuroscience, um, so I met a lot of physicians and scientists, psychologists, neuroscientists during my uh, college years. So anyway, so so this study found that um, that Cobenfi, the new drug for schizophrenia approved by the FDA in September 2024, may actually help reduce cognitive impairments in some patients, in addition to its previously documented effect of reducing both positive and negative symptoms of schizophrenia. So for those of you who, you know, don't know much about schizophrenia, so schizophrenia is a crazy disease. Like, like it's like, it, it's really insane how much it ruins someone's life. Um, so, and the reason why is because it works in two different ways. Like it creates new symptoms and it removes existing abilities. So those are, these are called positive uh, symptoms. A positive symptom is, it means like it adds something new to the human. So you see like visual hallucinations um, or, you know, you have like tick disorder, you know, like you have like, um, you know, like ticks or whatever. So these are positive because they add on to you as a human. The negative symptoms of schizophrenia mean that they remove behaviors that you normally do. So for example, like, you know, the ability to like the ability to see or like the ability to clean yourself or the ability to walk. Um, these are deemed negative symptoms of schizophrenia. So, and a lot of people who have schizophrenia, unfortunately have both, like they have both positive symptoms and negative symptoms. Um, okay. So Cobenfi developed under the name CAR-XT combines two compounds, xenolamine and, xenomaline and trosmium chloride. It's the first ever drug approved for schizophrenia that does not target the D2 dopamine receptor in brain cells. Uh, xenomaline targets two specific receptors in brain cells called M1 and M4 that are part of the muscarinic acetylcholine system. Trospium chloride prevents xenomaline from affecting receptors in the body's peripheral nervous system that is outside the CNS in order to minimize side effects that could arise if peripheral receptors were activated. Um, okay. So again, like, you know, examples of positive symptoms are hallucinations and delusions. Examples of negative symptoms are flat affect. That basically means like, like, hopefully I don't have a flat affect. Like when, when I talk, there's like, you know, it sounds like this, right? But a flat affect means like your face is just blank and it's like, hello, my name is Naheem. Nice to meet you. So that's a flat affect. Um, reduced motivation and social withdrawal. So again, those are negative symptoms. So a team of investigators led by William P. Horan, PhD, um, wanted to follow up on preliminary evidence from a phase two trial of the new drug, su suggesting that it might also improve cognitive performance in at least some patients. Um, okay. 
As the team noted in their paper appearing in the American Journal of Psychiatry, considerable pharmacologic and genetic evidence from non-human studies indicates that the M1 and M4 muscarinic receptors are key modulators of neural networks underlying cognitive function. These receptors are concentrated in brain regions crucial for cognition, including the hippocampus and the prefrontal cortex. Xenomaline, which activates these two receptors, has shown promising effects on cognitive functioning in animal models. It has also been explored as a potential therapeutic in Alzheimer's disease, based on findings that it may improve memory, imp memory impairments. However, these earlier studies did not involve the recently approved version of the new drug, which combines xenomaline with trosmium chloride. My, my medical opinion here is that I think it's actu it might actually be better like with as a combination drug because you're basically preventing it from touching other the PNS so or the peripheral nervous system so you know like more of it is concentrated in the central nervous system but we'll see like we'll see with further studies um okay so the new study was sponsored yeah da 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 and it, it retrospectively analyzed it um all right so here, here's the kicker. So in the overall group that combined the participants in the two phase three trials who received Cobenfi for five weeks, the drug was not associated with cognitive improvement in any of the domains tested, but a subset of the whole had significant pre-existing baseline cognitive issues, about 38% of the total group of 357. Of these, 71 received Cobenfi and 66 received placebo. Those who received Cobenfi had improvements in their composite CANTAB score with the largest improvement seen in verbal memory involving both recall and cognition and recognition. The size of the effect is described by the team as moderate. Such benefits are deemed significant by the researchers um, since, as Dr. Horan point, points out, it was the first time a monotherapy for the treatment of schizophrenia has shown a replicable cognitive uh, benefit. And then they talk about like next steps for the study. So, all right. So what does this mean in like normal human talk? So what this means is that not only is Cobenfi, and, and it's not really Cobenfi, like, you know, just to be transparent, it's not Cobenfi. It's the, it's a first medication within Cobenfi. So remember Cobenfi is two different chemicals, right? So the first, for, so the first chemical, xenomaline, is the chemical that was tested. Um, and so what it basically showed is that like, you know, not only does it not only does it reduce the positive symptoms and negative symptoms of schizophrenia, but it also improves verbal and memory recall. So that's extremely important. So let me let me read that again. Um, sorry. So it shows it, so one subsect of participants showed improvement in verbal memory involving both recall and recognition. Um, so this is very important because verbal memory basically means like, you know, it, say the word cat, cat. Okay, now like five minutes later, I ask you like, you know, what word did I ask you to remember? Um, so that's verbal memory. And it's also like, you know, the ability to have a conversation, like you're, a, you're you can keep that, you can keep your train of thought and you can follow along with someone who's speaking with you. Um, so again, this is extremely good news. Like, you know, and and so it's like, you know, I, I'm always cautiously optimistic about new things, right? So, and, and I think as a medical doctor, it's like, you're sort of trained to manage expectations. Like, it's not something where it's like, oh, this is a miracle drug. It's going to cure everything. Um, there's no such thing, right? Like every single drug in the universe has side effects, even Tylenol, even Advil. Um, so my recommendation here is to just talk with your doctor if this is, an appropriate medication, if, if your existing antipsychotic doesn't really work well, or, or it has a lot of side effects. Um, but again, remember that it is currently, because it's so new, it's still really expensive. And, and again, I, I don't buy medic, I, I don't buy these, so I don't have any personal, like, experience. But like, you know, just doing a quick Google search, like a typical antipsychotic, like a generic antipsychotic. Um, let me take a look. Yeah, so a generic antipsychotic costs a few hundred dollars per month. Um, so it says here about three to five hundred dollars per month. 
Uh, but Cobenthi is currently listed at $1,850. So $1,850. So, you know, and, and this is, um, but, but again, like most patients will pay less because if you, if you have Medicaid or Medicare, or if you have, you know, good health insurance, and I'm sure it, it's a lot less, but, um, you know, it might be a good option, depending on like, you know, if, if a drug doesn't work, then you will get what's called prior auth, so prior authorization uh, from an insurance company. And that's what your doctor has to put in. Um, so, you know, unfortunately, with our health, with our insurance system today, like people like us normal people have zero say as to like, as to like how things go. But if you go to your doctor, your doctor can put in a prior authorization and write a justification saying, hey, look, like risperidone doesn't work or whatever antipsychotic doesn't work, my patient needs this other drug. Um, so that's basically how we authorize medications. And again, us doctors have zero power over that, okay? So, so it's like, if, you're, if you get mad or something, blame the insurance companies. It's not, the doctor's doing everything they can usually. Um, but yeah, so thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, share all that good stuff. Um, and yeah, like, like, you know, if you do have any thoughts about Cobenthi, if, you know, it's been out for about six months now. So would love to hear if you are, if you or someone you're, you're, you know, close with has been taking it and if it has been showing promise, because I feel like that would really help the community. Uh, but until next time, thank you, everyone. This is Dr. Mazan. Take care. Bye.